What's happening guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new video and in this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how I edit my videos because I uploaded the video uh, recently in the past few weeks like how to edit like Jelly, how to edit like Quibble Cop, how to edit like Jack Septiguy. so a lot of people have been asking like dude, how do you make your videos? Well in this video I'm going to show you guys two videos, That's one is going to be like from last year, if you're old one, uh, when I left back in the summer I'm going to show you guys one video of that and then I'll be switching back to a newer version that I made a few months I think it was last month, like within two months ago. So enjoy this video, guys. I'm gonna show you guys how I edit my videos, how I switch back and forth between angles on the deep web, how I use my face cam border in Sony Vegas, everything. Make sure to stay tuned for that. And I would say enjoy the video. What is happening, guys? My name is Alex. Awesome that you guys are watching to this new Sony Vegas tutorial. And this video starts a little different than usual. Normally, you see just me like um, ready to show you guys how to do something like w in Sony Vegas itself with a little, you know, um, face cam at the bottom. But this video is a requested one because someone asked, uh, like, how do you um, edit your Sony Vegas tutorial? So I'm gonna make. I'm just gonna show you guys in this video how I make them. You know, the process from filming it. Um, to actually uploading it. So as you can see right now, I'm rendering a video. Um, I'm actually rendering um, a, a like kind of like update video. So I just got away because I have like two monitors. And as you can see, I use the program OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, and that's why this is what I use to uh, record my videos with. So normally, right here is the face cam, as you can see, um, but I added that in afterwards because I film with this camera that I'm holding right now, the Canon 600D. So the face cam comes in that frame, as you can see, and then you just have the screen. So you know the whole Sony Vegas uh, program. You guys know how it, how it looks. So I gotta wait like a few more minutes. I'll see you guys in a few minutes, but for you guys, it's just in a matter of seconds, so. Okay, so usually I open up the video. Wait, I'm recording. Okay, so sorry about that. So usually I open my Sony Vegas tutorials, you know, with this screen and I'm just gonna uh, just use the introduction first, what I'm gonna do, and then I just switch to the actual um, screen of Sony Vegas. So this video is just like how I edit my video. So how this is gonna work is I'm gonna edit a video that has been uploaded like last week. So I, so I, so I just have still the footage um, that's like seven minutes long, like really raw, uncut, nothing about it, you know, all the bloopers are in there and I'm just gonna edit that video, um, like not the whole entire video or else this video will be like like really long. So I'm just gonna show you guys like a few minutes, um, like how I edit my Sony Vegas tutorials. So um, yeah, I'm, so this video is just me editing the video. I just concentrate on editing. You're just gonna um, uh, see me editing and hear the audio from the actual video, um, like me cutting out the bloopers and all the bad stuff. So, so enjoy the rest of the video. So I opened Sony Vegas as you can see right here. So let's say I just finished recording a video. Well, how this is gonna work is I'm gonna just drag in the footage and uh, I'm not gonna talk, you know, over it. So I'm just gonna drag in the footage uh, in real quick. So I'm just gonna go to the file where I saved it, drag it in right here. So I recorded the face cam separately with my camera. So I'm just gonna drag in that file because that's actually just a, another file on top of the actual clip so I'm just gonna put on the video right here and I'm just sync clapping while syncing the video right here so uh, yeah here we start hey guys welcome back to my channel today hey guys welcome hey guys, hey guys welcome back to my channel today I'm hey guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, install color correction presets because I, th I see like a lot of people are saying like dude I want to have I want to spice up some footage and I don't have like the one the color correction or just I can't do anything with the standard ones that you know Sony has put into Vegas so I just want to have some external um, color correction presets and I don't know how to install it so I'm gonna I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you guys it so I'm gonna show you guys how to install a color correction presets and then once those sets and then once those installed you can use them and that's what I'm gonna show you guys right now so okay so as you can see so basically that's how I had my video so I record them and then I just put my headphones on and just completely focus into the editing and just cut out bloopers, cut out and, and replay and watch over again and watch over and over and over again. That's how I edit my videos guys, so I want to thank you guys for watching and if you find this video helpful feel free to leave a thumbs up down below, it's always appreciated and if you want to see more of these videos like more requested ones, feel free to drop your requests in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to make a video about it. So I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Okay guys, so that was the first video and the next video, the second video is like from, I would say, within two months ago. So nothing changed that much. So I would say enjoy the updated version.
my name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new Sony Vegas tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you guys how I edit my videos because I see so many video uh, comments like can you do leafy can you do um, like scares and everything and also people said like how do how does Alex edit his videos and so in this video I'm going to show you guys my Vegas projects what everything looks like every single video deep web vlog audacity Vegas Pro anything so basically I would say without further ado let's jump straight into the actual video okay so as you guys can see we're on Sony Vegas and basically the first thing um, that is when I finished recording a video I always open the project folder so let me open up the folder real quick all right guys so as you guys can see this is the folder with all the projects so let's say I finished recording the deep web so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to open with Sony Vegas Pro 13 not 14 yet so then we're gonna open up the project um, and as you guys can see also it says videos from the week that's Dutch for videos of the videos of the week and just projects very obvious and then a folder named shit outros and intros and everything in there uh, so I'm gonna open up the deep web uh, project so let me see where it is all right guys so we landed on the first project and as you guys can see this is the project of deep web videos so basically how I edit is I just have the regular intro as you guys can see warning then I just have a fade out then I have two tracks with face cam border so anytime I switch to like as you guys can see full screen I can just I can just place the opacity is I don't it's like very hard to see but I think you guys will see it I can just you know lower the opacity of the video of I mean like the face cam border in the corner so that's what i do so let's say i want to start the intro full screen what i do is i just you know do my intro then i cut away i'm do, i'm gonna mute this track i'm gonna cut also here and i'm going to like open up this so as you guys can see i'm starting the video with the full face cam border full screen and then boom it switches to the corner and i just do that with the video footage as well so the video and the face cam border will will go will both be full screen or in the corner or full screen that's how i do it and as you guys can see this this track with opacity very low of course the deep web tension music that you guys can hear and then at the end i have always my standard outro as you guys can see this guy you probably you probably know that you, you've seen it in my videos so that's basically the first video that's the deep web uh, part this is just the intro this is just the intro like warning the following video is part of a series that's for educational purposes only please do not enter the deep web unless you know what you're doing that's basically the intro that i always do then i do a fade out and then full screen let's say i'm saying right here in this one like let's go over to tour browser Boom, and I, then I cut to the corner and then I place like the footage in there. That's how I added the deep web video, guys. I just switch back and forth between face cam board, full screen and in the corner. And that's basically it. And when I'm doing full screen, I'm just, you know, adding a regular blur on the background, just like to make it like come a little bit loose with the background. So as you guys can see, it is that simple. Just two standard tracks. This is my template for the deep web. And that's the first video. So moving on to the next one is OBS Studio. Basically, I'm going to skip that one because is I, the series ended but I don't have like a steady series on Tuesday yet so I'm uploading random videos so it's no like doesn't make sense uh, to show you guys this then I'm going to open up the Sony Vegas project that's also very interesting I'm just going to open that with Sony Vegas Pro 13 so as you guys can see this is the this is the second Vegas project so basically we had just a standard intro like okay guys before this video starts want to check out RayMagician.com basically a website where you can get like really high quality intro templates are really easy to edit all the info is in the description now boom that's that's basically the intro and then I have my standard intro coming up and then I just have my face cam border in this is like the same video I'm like I'm like on the bottom on the right and that's how I edit this actual video is edited in this like project so I just have the regular face cam border it's very hard to see but you guys can still see it bottom corner and I just place my footage there uh, I place uh, the of course the Sony Vegas track when I wanna when I record my screen I place it in there then I just cut away all the silences I cut away all the ums just the so that it looks a little bit more smooth. And I'd say that that's basically how I added my Sony Vegas tutorials. It's really simple. I just always use this like this, uh, this face cam border at the bottom. Then we have my lower third, like follow me on Twitch and everything. Also very handy to see. And this is what my Vegas project looks like. Do we have just like the regular intro? Uh, this one, you guys saw it. Then we had a little cloud popping up and then basically my full name and then the little avatar draw like the drawing then it's just you know it goes into a um like this cloud disappears this one and then it's you know when you see the, the black you see is is also the video so it's very handy and then like i said face cam border at the bottom and that's how i added my sony vegas video so that's really 
really awesome. Then the next thing is Audacity. I'm gonna open up that one as well, but I'm like, I still think like I'm going to do different things on Thursday because Audacity is so damn simple. I'm just going to skip that. That's basically the intro and the background music, nothing else. Then we're going to go over to Vegas Pro. I'm going to open up Evolving into a Barty YouTuber that always comes on Saturday. Um, but I'm going to show you guys that project. So this is basically the intro of Evolving into a Barty YouTuber. So I just have the intro. Then we have um, like that, the real intro. Then, as you guys can see, there's always popping up uh, um, like this, you know, the lower third with like text. So what I do every project is just, I just change the text. I'm just going to click on this one and then it says like how to be professional on YouTube. What I'm, what I'm doing in most cases, I just change the text that I use all templates I made myself. So let's say how to avoid hate on YouTube. So that's basically how I change it. And then also at the, you know, on top of that, this little small, uh, like involving into a better YouTube, I just change it to the episode. I'm just gonna, I'm just like hashtag uh, 25. And then I'm closing that out. And then that we basically changed that. Just so going to disappear as well, as you guys can see. And then the video just starts. Also again with the new outro that I made a few days ago and I just edit like it's that simple guys It is that simple you guys are seeing like the most busy timelines everything I post on Twitter sometimes But it's really that simple. I just background music also at the bottom happening I'm not gonna save that one and the vlog is actually the same just my intro Then we have a little cloud popping up my, my little avatar the avatar disappears And then what I do is I just edit the video and add the outro is that simple So that's it basically for this video guys. That's how I edit my video I just ran through all seven projects and it's that simple. Is that awesome? So leave your make sure to leave your suggestions down below for more videos. Thank you guys for the thing support. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a new video. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below and also subscribe button at the bottom. So thank you for the continued support. If you want to see more content, make sure to click right here. That's it for today. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.